integrated math one practice test for TCAP 10 ready. So this is question number 21. We are in subpart two, which is a calculator subpart. McKenna purchases a car for $27,500. It's a very round number. The value of the car will depreciate, which means it decreases each year at a rate of 12.4%. What is the approximate equivalent monthly depreciation rate to the nearest tenth of a percent? And write your answers in the space provided on your answer document. The thing about this question is in the testing world, there's the idea of, or really anywhere, distractors. What's information that you don't need? This question is almost a huge distractor in, in a way, or it's filled with them. You're probably thinking in your head, well, I should probably set this up as some sort of exponential function, and you'd be right. And you might say, well, I know about exponential functions. I know that I need to start out by putting the original amount here, principal, ready to go. I know that depreciation means I'm going to decrease. So I'm going to 1 minus uh, 0 0.124. That's a whole thing I'm dealing with. And then uh, it's monthly, so I need to divide that by 12. And since I'm doing it 12 times, I'll do 12 times whatever the term is, and then that's it, right? But that's not even what the question is asking you. It simply wants to know, if you have 12.4%, what's the equivalent monthly depreciation rate? So they just want you to talk about this. And since they want it in tenth of a percent, you didn't even have to convert it into a decimal. Thanks. Super annoying. So if you do 12.4, you're going to divide by 12. That's really uh, what the question is asking you to do and thing that I've ever learned, um, or I just don't understand the question, which would be pretty weird for me to make this and not understand it, but this is essentially what they're asking. So I have all this, and then I just do 12.4 divided by 12, and I get 1.033. So my final answer rounded to the nearest percent would be 1.0%. For some reason, we could put 1.0 or whatever. It doesn't really say not to put the percent there. The key itself says 1.1, but I've never felt like that a 3 would be large enough to, I'm pretty sure 3 is less than 4, or is less than, which is also less than 5, and the 5 is the number that you'd round up on, so I'm going to say 1.0%. So there you go. That's your answer for number 21.